Victory Caveman here. Hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's happy. So today we're looking at the top main tools for a basic or a beginner's DIY kit. And these are in no particular order. We're going to start off with some screwdrivers. You need a flathead screwdriver as a minimum, along with something like a Phillips and a smaller one to um, do plugs, that sort of thing. If we go to the Screwfix website, we can see there's a nice little set here of Stanley screwdrivers for 10 quid. And they've got a nice little array of ends on those. So next on the list then we have a hammer. Now I don't need to describe in any detail what we need to do with a hammer do we? So this is a claw hammer um, and you know there's a couple on the screen here. We've got a Magnuson eight and a half quid, a decent one, a Stanley for under £10. So this gives you an idea of typically what you could expect to pay for a nice quality hammer. Next on the list are some pliers. I personally prefer the longer nose pliers. I think they're more versatile um, and you know uh, you can pick them up typically for under six quid um, these are probably my preferred choice something like this look on the screen for six quid but you know it's down to personal choice really so here's an adjustable spanner now these do come in a number of different sizes and on the table now I believe I'm putting a I think it's a six and an eight inch now you can buy these individually um, or you can actually buy them, you know, um, two or three at a time in a little pack. So for a decent one then, six quid look, nice little set of three here for nine quid. And I also spotted on the B&Q website, um, a couple of decent little spanners here look for a tenner. So look, you know, you can't go wrong with that, can you? So what else have we got then? Um, yeah, we all need a tape measure. There's no point in having a DIY kit without a tape measure. I've got two or three. This is the longest one of the two, but typically five meters or three meters even will do you fine. One on the screen here, look for five quid, but I did spot on the Screwfix website a nice little kit here for seven quid. So we all need a saw, don't we? Now, once again, they come in different sizes, different specifications. The one I'm showing you here is a slightly smaller one. It's got quite a few more teeth for a finer cut. And to my mind, this would be ideal for a DIY or beginner's kit. But here's an example of what you'd expect to pay for a reasonable saw look under six pound on the Screwfix website. Um, yeah, now Stanley knife. We need Stanley knives, don't we? And I've got two, three, possibly four of these in my um, uh, in my tool kit. Here's one with um, the blades, which you just snap off on the end once you've used them, once they become blunt. And you also need some spare blades to go with them. So um, the one on the left hand side, look, they the blades stay out, but you can get the ones with retractable blades, which I think are probably a bit better, really. So um, if you just go for a, um, a reasonable quality one, look, Stanley under six quid here with a retractable blade, so you don't damage it when it's in your toolkit. Now, this one's gonna be probably a little bit controversial. Knowing what I know now, I would go for actually what's happened here we've gone back to the stanley heavy duty blades anyway you can pick them up for three quid back to this one here look this is called a carpenter square roofers or rafter square it it's known by a number of names really but knowing what i know now i would um have one of these um you know it would be in a basic tool kit any day of the week um you know you can sort of like cut angles on them you can do measurements with them you can use them to scribe there's loads of stuff you can do with these now i ended up buying mine from tool stop they come in either the black matte or you can get the uh, the metallic looking ones here look um so yeah i think they're absolutely fantastic but you know this is a debatable item this is a bit of a curveball really you won't find many basic kits with these in but knowing what i know now i would have one of these any day of the week so here's one i've got look a little bit more expensive 14 quid um, there's a lot to say about it but at the end of the day it performs the most basic tasks and um, i'd recommend these over any other 
um, sort of you know measuring um, device it can be utilized for so many different things and because you've got all those marks on there it does look a little bit complicated but once you get the hang of it you're fine however if you just wanted to keep it simple stupid um, here's an example of a combination square under five quid look which will do the job and will be more than adequate now this is for illustration purposes only this is a combination drill um, from dewalt but this is a more uh, you know better quality item um, so this is for illustration purposes only um, you can get cheaper models out there um, you know this is a, but I think what I would say is it's best to get one that if possible is uncorded but if you get one with the battery you know they tend to be a lot more versatile you're not tripping over cords that sort of stuff clearly if you do get one you need to have some bits to go with it to screw in a variety of screws and also some drill bits as standard you know you normally come with a couple of speeds on here this has got a hammer function which enables you to get into bricks more to that sort of stuff and um, you really do need one with a an adjustable torque on to now enable you to alter the um, the uh, the resistance or the pressure which you apply when you're screwing stuff in hope i've explained that well enough but if i haven't you know i'm sure you get the gist anyway now in terms of drill bits i prefer the longer drill bits like this i think these are 50 mil drill bits they're just a little bit more versatile and there's just an example of um, what i've bought um, now i've got a couple of um, sets of drill bits here which i believe i got from either it's either aldi or screw fix these are at a very reasonable price I think they're about five or a piece, something like that. Now, um, a drills can be a little bit more expensive and you won't find these in every DIY starter kit, but I think really they are quite invaluable. And there's an example of one you can get for under 50 quid. Is it any good? I don't know. You'd have to do your own sort of due diligence on that. Do a bit of research, guys, um, just to sort of, you know, find out the best reviews on items. Um, there's a couple more, look, which are on the Screwfix website. Um, so, yeah, do your own due diligence. Look at the reviews and uh, make your own decisions about what will best meet your needs. Now these um, drill bits here are for wood. I think you need really drill bits of wood and perhaps some masonry. And like I say, from either old or little, each of these sets cost about five quid, but it is possible to buy, um, you know, uh, different items from different places. But obviously the, var the price varies. I did spot though, this is quite a nice little kit from Makita under 12 quid. It's got a few of the main drill bits and the, um, little um, screwdriver you know the most common screwdriver bits um, to stick in your drill so that's not a bad little set for 12 quid there look you could do a lot worse so um, I think now once again you won't find this in every DIY kit but I think a spirit level um, is absolutely invaluable once again they come in a variety of shapes sizes and prices you know they can be plastic they can be metallic I've got two or three I found this one actually behind a radiator in a house which I purchased um, um, a few years ago still going strong um, but they are very very useful indeed and you can pick up here's one look 400 mil you can pick up for about seven quid or so um, but obviously you know if you shop around you might get a better buy than that um, but basically you know that gives you a gist of what it's going to cost to buy one I've just thrown this in for what it's worth look it should go without saying that if you've got a, if you're into DIY that sort of thing it is helpful to have some pencils the carpenters pencils are nice and useful so look you know just to recap then um, you know this is a good example I believe of what you know you would need for a decent DIY or beginners DIY kit um, you can either buy the item separately or as you can purchase in a kit like this which I would suggest now this is a lovely little kit here look, for 40 squid that tells you what you get in it once again this is on the Screwfix website they're not promoting me to say this or advertise it in any way I've just spotted it and it's a cheaper way of getting a nice little kit together and if you get one of these saws I think you're sorted